All right, here we go. So we're looking down on an AC-72 uh, sailboat here, and what we see is one of its two catamaran hulls. So another innovation, at least for Atlantic sailing, has been the introduction of different kinds of hulls. The mono hull is the standard. It can be everything from the canoe I talked about paddling on up on the Allagash Wilderness Waterway in Maine, right? That's a mono hull. Um, most of the sailboats we think of are mono hulls. You start sailing upwind and you need this deep keel that we mentioned to keep you from tipping over too much. And then we get into catamarans. Catamarans are really an innovation that come out of the Pacific sailing tradition. And we see them in a lot of, uh, of the island cultures out there. Trimorans, these are all kinds of versions of multi-hulls. And the reason they work really well for racing is they're very light, they don't displace much water, and they're very stable for the amount of sail size that they can actually capture. So you don't need a deep keel because you've got this big stable platform. So this has been an innovation when we combine it with something like a wing sail, and we get these, I mean, it's just mind-blowing, right, if you've seen, how many of you have actually seen these, these sailboats down at the harbor? That's awesome, <laughs> right? They're, uh, tell me they're not awesome. <laughs> They're awesome, right? And so you get to see these things like this where they start foiling. They get so much speed, not only are they not using their hulls that are really cool with the catamarans, they, this is a dagger foil that's down in the water. It's actually got a wing, and now we know what wings are like. You get enough speed there, and they put that dagger down, and it's generating a lift force, which is totally cool, lifting the entire weight of these sailboats out of the water. There's actually some lift force here on the rudder daggers. They have little wings on them as well. So these rudder daggers and back are also helping lift it out of the water. So we get these amazing innovations in sail and innovations in hull. And the reason they go so fast, you now know, is it's essentially like having no hull in the water. There's very little resistance going on there. So all this force that's generated with this giant wing can be used to move this vehicle forward, and most of the resistance when they're foiling like this actually comes from moving through the air as well, okay? So it's speed is that wing sail and the hydrofoil.